Oh, uh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan and Tyson. What's up? Oh, uh, Titan's up CNC. We're at the NLX 2500, cutting some ink canal, making some tutorials. All right. To teach you guys to train and uh, make some aerospace parts. Boom. Oh. cutting some ink and L. Ooh, I love it. So before we get started, I just want to say if you love this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you want us to teach on something, go ahead and put it in the comments. You might see it in a future vlog. All right, so Tyson, making some tutorials. Some ink, ink and L tutorials. Some ink and L. That's it, scary, right? Scary noises coming out of here. Oh man, <laughs> right? So there's a lot of aerospace work. There's a lot of big companies stepping up and nobody's teaching that stuff. So we're teaching it on our academy, making tutorials, the exact tools, the exact depths of cuts, the speeds, the fees, everything. You've been making SpaceX parts for like 10 years. So you're basically just taking things that you learned along the way. So other people don't have to reinvent the wheel, yeah. right? I'm trying to share, share what I know. Awesome, that's awesome, man. My son, home. So we talk a lot about the Harvey three end mills and we call them the zombie cutters because they just crank for like seven hours yeah. straight. They're definitely right? zombie cutters. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. They chip, they break. You just keep running them for hours. Like just let them run, you know? But there's also other tools, right? It's a lot of variables in manufacturing. So you got the spindle, you got the turret, you got the holders, like everything needs to be absolutely rigid right yeah and you also have the coolant right the liquid tool yeah we're using the synergy 735 clear coolant cutting ink canal right so by now you guys have seen us cut titanium cut ink canal cut stainless cut aluminum plastic everything and have success you know one thing i also want to say is that you know there's been people online say like oh i heard titan's not using the synergy 735 i'm like dude everybody sees it in all my machines day in day out month in month out every single machine we have in the shop every single it. machine yeah. in the shop uses it right so i wanted to make sure everybody understood like this is our favorite coolant we've used all the top coolants and this is the absolute best coolant we've ever used. Do you love this coolant? Yeah. I like that it doesn't feel like coolant. Like you have to get in the machine sometimes and it doesn't feel like, you know. Yeah, it's like water. Yeah. Yeah, you feel it. Yeah. Like it's crazy, right? So the Synergy 735 has a pH of seven, which is water basically. It's just completely neutral. The smell is neutral. So a lot of people say, well, it's a synthetic. It's gonna eat your machines. No, nope. no. Nope. There's a special technology here that's proprietary that, that only Blazer is using. And the coolant, like the pH, is actually at a 7, which makes it neutral just like water, right? It's at a 7, so it doesn't eat at your machines. It doesn't feel like coolant is raining down on you, right? You know, another thing that I'll say is like dermatitis and skin problems, right? I mean, this coolant is extremely healthy. Stewart had all these skin problems, right, from great coolants, but this is a synthetic, and uh, there's no bacteria, and it's super healthy, and basically, his arms are all clean now, yeah. everything's good. Yeah, my brother Chris had the same thing, like he'd, he'd get itches and stuff whenever he'd reach in, so this stuff doesn't do that. Yeah, and you're a machinist and you work day in, month in, year in, year out. You're basically always with the coolant and it sucks if you got skin issues because of that coolant, you know, so. Plus it's safe enough for you to drink. Ah, uh -huh. don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> like it's clear cool. Now there's been other clear coolants, but this one is clear. You can actually see your tool. I think in education, anybody teaching, why would you have like a bunch of milk pouring on your tool like the students can't actually see what's going on in the machine yeah when we went to imts i was kind of thinking that like they were showing off all these machines cutting but then you can't yeah, see anything can't happening see yeah anyway oh listen to that getting after it but the specific application he has right now the tool's kind of hanging out kind of long and stuff
So what are you running, about 20 inches a minute? Yeah, 20 inches a minute, 170 SFM. 170 SFM. And the chip load is kind of lower, right? So you're like around 2,000, so a little bit a little bit more on like yeah. 0.200. It sped it up just a little bit, so it's probably a little bit more than two. We programmed it for 2,000, it's probably a little bit like more. Like 0.0025, somewhere Something in there. Like cool. One of the one of the reasons is the surface footage is is decent. The chip load is a little bit low, therefore you hear a little bit of chatter. But we got to realize that we're doing live tooling, so you actually have a spindle in the turret. Therefore, you don't want to put too much pressure on this thing, right? And it's getting. I mean, 20 inches a minute is no joke in Inconel, right? So uh, let's go back to the liquid tool. All right, so. Another thing that I want to like let everybody know is like when you guys step up to the Synergy 735, uh, there's a few things that you guys gotta understand and know. First, cleaning the machine is extremely important, right? Uh, Blazer actually has a cleaning solution called Blazo Clean, and basically what the suggestion is is that you take that, actually put two percent into your coolant for about four to five days before you change it out which will clean the system out, right? There's a few different types of Blazo Clean, so you wanna make sure that you get the right type that works with your coolant, and they'll guide you in that, right? You don't get the one for 735, you get the one for your coolant, because you're actually taking your other coolant out, therefore you're mixing it, right? Once the coolant comes out, then you can mix the Blazo Clean with water, cycle it, right, at like, the Blazo Clean's about 2%, and basically clean your system. If you don't clean your system, you can have some different things, some build up, different things. It's all about housekeeping and doing it correctly, all right? So first thing, stepping up to Synergy 735, make sure your, your machine is extremely clean. Next, you gotta use DI water to actually mix with the coolant. So we actually rent these tanks. Basically, it runs right through our system and uh, we make it happen. All right. A couple other things I want to make you aware of is like when you're machining cast iron, uh, the Synergy 735, the one that we use actually doesn't work well with cast iron or galvanized steel. But Blazer actually has another mixture of Synergy that does work well with it. All right. So just talk to the experts. Okay. So machining ink, you know. So these tutorials that are going to be up on the Academy, when are the tutorials going to be up? It's probably going to be up in a couple weeks. A couple weeks? Yeah. So in a couple weeks, you're going to have multiple tutorials on cutting Inconel, going off of a 3D model, exactly what tools to use, what depths of cuts, what speeds of feeds. You're basically giving them all the information mm -hmm. so that they can learn it. They can cut titanium and Inconel and Hasseloy and Monel and actually do complicated parts, hitting datums, doing the inspection, doing all of that so that you guys can actually quote this type of work and actually have success. We're building rockets, right? You see, you see those new rockets out there? They're made out of stainless steel interplanetary rockets. Like, we gotta step up. Anyway, Tyson, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Boom, Boom. Titans of CNC, we are out.